Hi guys, this is Paul Danis. What we're going to set up is an open SSL on a Windows host and then generate a P12 key. First thing we're going to do is we're going to install open SSL. I went to a website here called Shining Light. You'll find uh, open SSL in multiple places. I just picked this location here. I click on products and then go down to open SSL. And in here you'll need a couple of tools. Depending on whether you are 64-bit or 32-bit, this is the 32-bit version, the 64-bit version. You'll need those, and then you're going to grab the OpenSSL light version. It seems to be the one that's most commonly installed. I've went ahead and downloaded those particular products. I have them installed in this particular directory. This is the 64-bit, the 32-bit, and then OpenSSL. First thing I'm going to do is run 64-bit. Then I'm going to run the 64-bit light version. Now that I've installed OpenSSL, I am ready to generate a key. Now I made it pretty simple by creating a simple little command file. In the command file, it will use a variable that we'll type into the command line when we run it. Then from there, it will go through the necessary steps to create that particular key. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. First thing I'm going to do is open up a command window. Go to the directory where I find that command file. The file that I'm going to be using is called gen key. So I type gen key and I type. Now this is going to be a single word. This is going to be the name of the key that's actually generated. I go ahead and click enter. I add this particular line. Make sure you have something in there. If it says named blank, then you need to stop and start over again. You need to make sure you use it in exactly this context. This is a passphrase you're going to use. It's not going to show up on the screen. These are variables you type in relative to the customer. and you are done. You see I have one called testing video.